All right, guys, so we're here at the Vancouver Aquarium. So we're gonna go inside and see what it's all about. In today's Kim's Adventure, we're at the Vancouver Aquarium located inside Stanley Park. On this episode, we'll see what Canada's biggest aquarium has to offer. And introduce their newest exhibit called the BBC Earth Shark, a 40 experience. By the way, if you could take the time to smash that like button, it would really help out the channel. So let's get started. The Vancouver Aquarium was opened on June 15, 1956 and was Canada's first and largest aquarium. In addition to being a major tourist attraction, it was also a center for marine research and conservation. For many years, the popular orca show drew in tons of visitors but was later cancelled in 2001. Today, due to financial hardships from the COVID lockdowns, ownership has been transferred to the Hershen Family Entertainment. General admission can range from $39.95 to $51.95 or $75 for an annual membership. The first section we went to was the Tropics Gallery. Some of this gallery's highlights include tropical fish and sharks. The kids were instantly amazed by all the marine life. It's like getting a glimpse into an alien world. In this exhibit, they give a nice little, a nice little step for the kids to climb up and get a closer look at the tank. And they got sharks in here. They got a ray that you can see sometimes. I've always found it interesting how these predators don't gobble up all the other fish in the tank. The next section we explored was the Graham Amazon Gallery. This gallery highlights some of the Amazon's amazing biodiversity. They made this inside look just like a rainforest. It's warm in here too. Probably around a 80, 80 degrees. Look at these beautiful birds with their little duck friends. This little guy is called the Scarlet Ibis. It was also cool to see all the different types of turtles. This iguana is sleeping. He's taking a nap. Had a long day. I'm loving how they built this area like a rainforest. Now it's time to get out of the hot and get into the cold. It's hard to see, but they even had fruit bats in here. We now enter Pacific Canada. Pacific Canada Pavilion spans two levels and features the fascinating marine life along Vancouver's front door. This looks like the largest tank they have here. Right next to the Pacific Canada was the Treasures of the BC Coast exhibit. British Columbia boasts a great diversity of coastal habitats that hosts a large variety of marine species uniquely adapted to their homes. Okay, so we're gonna go see the 4D show here, the 4D theater. Okay, we're in the 4D theater now. Gotta see what this show's all about. Make sure you have your 4D glasses on for the 4D experience. At the theater, the aquarium was featuring a new show called the BBC Earth Sharks of 4D Experience. Come face to face with some of the world's most strange and mysterious shark species. The show explores the complex nature of these majestic creatures' survival instincts. There were light and bubble effects along with sprays of water that made me feel like I was swimming with the sharks. Be warned though, the movie can be a bit intense for children under 6. Man, that was a pretty fun show. We even got poked. We got poked and sprayed. And we got this fun play area for the kids. Here you can look at the starfish. There's like boats. There's like a tunnel here. 
What's in the tunnel? You can look at more fish? Oh yeah. You can look at tiny fish here. And then there's an the animal rescue center. I'm guessing they do some kind of activity here later. Kids here are going buck wild. Buck wild while the parents watch. Don't forget to go to the wet labs before leaving. The kids get a hands-on experience with some sea creatures. If your family's getting a bit hangry, you can step outside to the upstream bar and grill. They have sandwiches, salads, platters, and an assortment of beverages. Today's special was the clownfish cone. I had one of these when I was in Korea. Right next to the restaurant was Stellar's Bay, where we watched the sea lions. Okay guys, so we're out here in the outdoor section of the Vancouver Aquarium. And right below is the sea lions. As you can see, there's one swimming right now. It is huge. I believe that's the California sea lion. One of the seals came out. It's relaxing. And then it's going back in. Maybe not. Many people miss this area, but it's a place where you can view sea lions underwater. One of the main attractions at Vancouver Aquarium are the sea otters. All the sea otters living at Vancouver Aquarium were rescued as orphan pups. What blows me away is how big they are. They're as big as my second son. Make sure you look at the day schedule so you can catch the sea otter feeding time. Right around the corner is the penguin point. Standing about 12 inches high, African penguins can eat up to 20% of their body weight in just one sitting and are one of the 18 penguin species worldwide. And the kids are just trying to see how they compare to these penguins. No one's as big as a king or emperor penguin. Wow. Or is that a king penguin? Oh, that's a king penguin. And that's the emperor. Oh, emperor's the big one. It's the, it's the legit one. I'm gonna call you emperor penguin, Nolan. So a touch pool here. You can actually touch fish in this one. The fish are all in the center, so it's hard to touch them. At the lower level of the aquarium, they have the Frogs Forever exhibit. And we got a whole section down here in basement level with just frogs. Wow, look at that frog. Man, these frogs are kind of hard to spot sometimes. And for any nursing moms out there, they have a private room just for you. The final area we visited was Nature's Ninja. Discover some of the animal kingdom's most clever defense mechanisms up close and personal. My favorite animal here was the sloth. I've never actually seen one so close. The rest of the animals were so hard to spot, it was like playing a game of Where's Waldo. The program schedule said that there would be a special presentation at this location, so we sat down to wait for the show to begin. Alright, they're just about to start Nature's Ninjas. Layla, one of the animal care staff, brought out a blue tongue skink. Apparently, the skink protects itself by displaying that blue tongue. It signals to predators that they're no good to eat. After the presentation, they formed a line so the kids could pet the skink. Pretty cool experience. Before leaving, we went to the Courtyard Cafe to see what kind of snacks they had for sale. These aquatic cookies are so adorable. So we exited through the gift shop and just browsed around to see all the fun items they had in stock. No, you want a snack? Can you eat that? 
Here, you can eat this, Dylan. No. <laughs> hey, Ellie, let me buy you a snack. Ellie, let me buy you a snack. Let me buy you a snack. Here. <laughs> oh, you want a lollipop, Ellie? <laughs> she doesn't want it. She don't like eating bugs. Okay, guys, so we're done with Vancouver Aquarium. If you're ever here in uh, Stanley Park, definitely check this place out. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, here's some more suggestions. And as always, Please like, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next Kim's Adventure.